Sometimes it's 7 p.m., May 12th. Maybe implantation is not real, as I've said a billion times. How do they human program you from a computer? They're just pressing buttons on a computer. I've said this a million times. They're just pressing buttons on a computer. And a computer just somehow magically interacts with your nervous system. Yeah, how would human programming from a computer work on someone if implantation's not real? There has to be a bridge. There has to be a way a computer can send an invisible communication to your nervous system. And there has to be some way that uh, that com- computer can communicate with your nervous system. How is it doing such without some bridge of communication? It's probably a device with an antenna. You're just saying they're typing into a computer and it just magically, like, what, do I have some sort of, like, human, some bio antenna inside of me? And, it, like, a computer just communicates with it magically? Like, my body has some certain frequency that a computer can communicate with? I mean, come on. Could be wrong, but, no, I'm pretty sure... Well, I already know the implantation is real, but yeah, in order to try to human program from someone from a computer and them interact with certain regions of your nervous system, there has to be a way to target that region of the nervous system. It's a device they place in your brain with a uh, with an ion beam. Is my theory. I'm not sure the exact way, but it's some sort of ion beam implantation via some sort of nano or femto manufacturing like process. That's my theory. I said this a long time ago. Not sure how it really works. That's just what I theorize. But you can spot the posers. By, you can spot the posers and people who are stalking me because they'll say that's how it works. That was just some model I theorized in like late 2018, 2019. I'm not sure how it works. But the posers will, will pretend that's exactly how it works. I have no clue how it works. That's just what I theorized. It's probably way more complicated than that. But um, uh, key point, and, you know, in order for a computer to interact with your body, they put a device. And there's got to be a bridge of communication. So... It's a device they place and then they interact with that device and they neuromodulate and this and that, but they're really just committing neurophysiological torture and attempt to murder. They're not programming shit. And then other stuff they use basically that mimic the nervous system. They can do that. They can, they can block memory and impair memory. They can kind of rev you up with neuromodulation. Uh, a lot of their stuff just causes confusion and gives you headaches. Uh, but yeah, one of these people going to prison because I'm kind of fed up with saying this shit. Is someone not hearing me? Why aren't terrorists in prison where they belong? They're involved with highly illegal, unethical, inhumane human experimentation, attempts at murder, conspiracy murder, IP theft, data theft. Why aren't these scum of the earth people not in prison?